And that, that leads right into, in verse 10, he said, For this reason I endure all things, for the sake of those who are chosen, so that they also may obtain the salvation which is in Christ, and with it eternal glory. Isn't that the case of the jailer in Acts 16? Paul and Silas were wrongfully, wrongfully beaten and imprisoned. But it was for the sake of those who were chosen. It was for the sake of those... That account is not about Paul and Silas. Right. That account is about the about jailer. the jailer. Right. You know, he wasn't going to he wasn't going to no church on Sundays. No. That jailer. No. But he obtained salvation through what? Through the prison ministry of Paul. All right. Exactly. You just have to listen. I'm not, I'm not trying to be overly dramatic, but you need to be you need to be have your eyes open to go into this call. You need to have your eyes open to understand what it is to be used of God, all right? Because it's about the glory of God. It's not for your ease, it's not for your comfort. God will comfort you, all right? It's a trustworthy statement. If we died with him, we will also live with him. If we endure, we will also reign with him. If we deny him, he will also deny us. If we are faithless, he remains faithful. For he cannot deny himself. Hallelujah. We have to endure. You know, you don't... Endure to the end. If Alice wanted to give me asparagus, if she put asparagus on my plate, I would probably eat it. Don't get any Ooh. ideas. <laughs> I, I, I would. I don't like... I well, mean, you would at least give it a try. I've tried it. I think maybe you're getting to just, I don't like asparagus. Asparagus. I'd have to endure that. Yeah. You'd suffer through it. I'd suffer through it. Mm. If Alice put some coffee ice cream in front of me. No problem. I wouldn't have to endure it. Mm -hmm. I would. <laughs> but the point is you endure the things that you that are unpleasant to you. Right. You have to endure the things that you don't want to be you wish you didn't have to be doing or weren't doing. Right. I mean you endure the hard things. But Jesus said, He who endures to the end, he will be saved. Yes. Because this life, this world here on this old planet is filled with the hard things. But we will be able to say like Paul, I walk always in the triumph of Christ Jesus if we endure, if we press on, if we don't give up. If we deny him, he'll deny us. That's the, this is, listen, this is the statement of Jesus. He said, if you confess me before men, I'll confess you before my father. If you deny me before men, I'll deny you before my father. This is, this is reality. This is, this, is, this is not a joke. Okay? You know, I, just talking about Paul and Silas in that jail in Philippi, it talks about the fact that at midnight, in this, in this incredibly, I mean, we can't even conceive can't, right. of what this yeah. prison was like. This, this prison today has no, no resemblance at all. To, to these prison. old Roman prisons. That's right. And they literally put him in the deepest, darkest part of that dungeon, just as a part of the punishment. Not only that, they chained him to the wall, him and Silas, he and Silas. And then they've closed him behind the, the prison, the gates of the, of the cell. And what were they doing around midnight? Singing They're singing praise. praises to God. They're proclaiming the name of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. What do you think Jesus was doing right then? He was rejoicing. I'll tell you what he was doing. He was proclaiming, he was, he was proclaiming Jesus Christ before the, the Father. Father. That's exactly right. I mean, I have this vision in my mind. I, I, you know, here's Paul and Silas in this pit, this hellish pit, and they are singing praises to God. They are proclaiming the name of Jesus. And Jesus is in the, before the throne of the Father saying, do you see my servant? Do you see my servant Paul? He is proclaiming Paul before the Father. Right. Jesus has emotions. Yes. There's nothing wrong with emotions, <clears throat> keeping control. We, we joy is an emotion. I mean, yes. it, ex it expresses itself. He wept over Jerusalem mm -hmm. because they were not, not receiving him. 
I believe that Jesus was excited about Paul. Mm -hmm. I know that Paul was excited about Jesus. Yes. But I think Jesus was excited about Paul. Can you imagine him saying in front of the father, look at my servant Paul. Mm -hmm. Look at him in that place proclaiming my name. And I had this vision. The angels got excited. You think angels can get excited? Oh, yes. <laughs> if Jesus gets excited, I promise you, the angels around him are going to get excited. They had a hallelujah hoedown. <laughs> they were hopping up and down and praising God there in heaven. They shook the heavens. And the earth shook. And the bars of that cell flew open. The chains fell off the wall. I'm telling you, remember Christ Jesus crucified. Remember the power of God to deliver. Hallelujah. He will shake heaven and earth to deal with your situation, to deliver you from the promises, to deliver you according to the promise. Thank you, Jesus. Though the earth shall move and change, and the mountain move to the sea, I shall not be afraid The Lord of hosts is with me